Neymar joins Ronaldo and all the other amazing <laughs> soccer players that are not retired. They're still very young. To Saudi Arabia. Semi-retired. Semi-retired. Yeah. For yeah. astonishing contracts. Yeah. Yeah, He's yeah, yeah. getting 400 million in two years. Yeah, and it's crazy. People were making fun of Cristiano Ronaldo last year when he moved. You know, he's like, oh, I should have came to the MLS, the Saudi Arabia, it's a joke. Which like, it I was. do, I, I, it was, and you know, like, it's crazy. He, Messi, I think he only brought in like a couple, I think handful. While yeah. this guy, like pretty much every team is loaded with these players and I like, Neymar is 30. I believe 31. He still has like at least four or five years of like peak performance. So for someone his age and his talent to be like, I'm going to go to the Saudi Arabia League, no Champions League, no Premier League, kiss goodbye, the Ballon de Oro, it, it's nuts. You know, did they do it for money? <laughs> 400 course, million? Is he making more than Cristiano then? Uh, I, I know that Cristiano, I don't know how long his contract's for. That's the one I thing. I think his know. is four years. I believe so. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Ronaldo is the face of Saudi Arabia. He's the reason why. So no one will make less than him. Unless Messi comes, then maybe. So you think it's Cristiano that no, pushed I, all these players to come over here? Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo has a huge, huge influence. I, I guess it's a huge influence plus the money. Plus they know that like in the MLS, it's like the players like... No offense if you like the MLS, it's a joke. Like yeah. it's the MLS is a joke. I've got Sa to Saudi Arabia too. They're not the greatest. They're yeah. not, but they're more conservative in the MLS where they're not gonna spend stupid mm. amounts like this. In Saudi Arabia, the fans come up to the players and give them Rolex. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that video of yeah. Fabino. Yeah. Yeah. And he dropped it. I hope exactly. he didn't break it. And it's yeah. like obviously Ronaldo came, that yeah. kind of started the uh, Benzema. But, but also not even players. I don't know if you know pay attention coaches too. Oh like, yeah. Really good coaches. Yeah. So it's like not only players, but they're also hiring good coaches, which is something that MLS isn't doing, you know? No, no, so no, no. yeah. That's yeah. too. That's really huge. So it's like the whole infrastructure. Ronaldo mm. literally said this. We're, the league isn't even in the top five. You give it a year or two. It was like year of Saudi Arabia. Like, what the heck? Because like, before that, it was just him. Yeah. Right? I don't think there him. was anyone else. It was just him and yeah. other players from other places, but they're not famous or popular or good. Benzema is there. You know, the current Ballon de Oro winner <laughs> right now that can play for any team, the the top best player in the world. Open check. Like that's, to me, that's the, the craziest. Neymar, yeah, but like Benzema literally just won the Ballon de Oro. He could go anywhere and he's playing the Saudi Arabia League. Yeah, like the, this guy, Neymar, Sadly, he's one of those players that, you know, if you had to compare Neymar, even versus Bale, I see that comparison a lot on social media. Who had a better career, even though this guy was supposed to be the next Rolandinho and one of the greatest uh, Brazilian players of our time? Like, what did he win? Just one Champions League? Work, work ethic. The, that's the mm. biggest thing he lacks. It's, Party it's life. Passion and work ethic. Party life. I mean, Bale at the end of his career, too. But Bell won. But he won everything before that. And he showed up in yeah. the big games. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Big time. You remember that Chilena? Everybody remembers Cristiano's Chilena, but Bell's Chilena versus Liverpool? Yeah. That was that that was at the final. He scored a hat trick. Yeah, Chilena, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. If you had to pick a career, I think I would lean to Bell. Of course. But this I don't know why Bell retired. I'm pretty sure Bell's watching all these players. I'm like, uh yeah, he should have came. <laughs> yeah. Could have played for like yeah. one more, two more years. Play like, with Ronaldo again. Because he played know? in the MLS for a year. Right? Yeah, literally. Like a season. season. Yeah. He should just came to Saudi Arabia. He yeah. still can. He still but can. He could come out of retirement. But, he's chilling. But yeah, so it's interesting to see that they're getting players, they're getting coaches, they're probably getting medical staff, like well, all the stuff. Well, also remember, they're trying to negotiate with the Champions League to be able to introduce at least a couple of teams into the competition. So if they do that, that's just going to break like like the, the waterfall of all these players being like, all right, I don't care because they're going to pay me so much money, which is it going to affect soccer or football? Is it going to affect it? It's an, I think the only ones that are looking at this and being like, oh, crap, is the MLS. Because hmm. they probably thought like, oh, we're the next league to go up. Nah, they, they, in one year, they did more than what the MLS ever did their whole existence. <laughs> it, used to be, it used to be just one player yeah. comes. Yeah. They yeah. did more than what the MLS has done. You know, like obviously Messi going to Inter Miami is huge. Oh yeah, for the MLS it's huge. I think Apple doubled their revenue. Yeah, yeah. it is. But what happened here? It's like, come yeah. on, it's yeah. it's night and day difference. And Neymar, so he's getting three hundred million in two years. The other hundred million comes from bonuses, comes from all these crazy things. Like for example, they're telling him that for every game he wins, he would give an he would get an eighty thousand dollar bonus. $80,000 bonus for every wow. win. 
even if he scores a goal, doesn't they win? You know, that's all it's because Neymar. Um, every time he posts about them on social media, five hundred thousand dollars. I saw that. That's crazy. He's gonna be getting sports cars. He's gonna be getting Lamborghinis, Ferraris. He's gonna get a mansion. He's gonna get butler. Private chef. He's never gonna that. pay for anything. And there's no t like crazy tax. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing too. In Saudi Arabia, the taxes are not like how in the U.S. No. So technically, Messi is not money. really making that much compared to these players. If you really in think the about short it. run, in the short run, yeah. Uh, long term, if he stays there, has a team, yeah, and, you know, the value of the team go up yeah. and all that. Like Beckham right now, he's balling, but. Yeah, Ronaldo is going to keep all those, you know, one point or two billion dollars. I forget what the you know, contract is. And who was. knows what else? You yeah. Know, advertisement, who commercials. Who knows what gifts? You know, he, want, he just won a championship. I'm yeah. sure some rich, you know, person over there is like, you know what? Here's a million dollars. Or let me have a dinner with you. Yeah. He's there. Can I have a dinner with you? $10 here's, million. Dollars, yeah, here's yeah. 20 million. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the type of fans they have compared to the MLS, you know, like. So I think before it affects let's say the English Premier League, it's pr this, if they add three teams to the, the Premier League, I mean the Champions League, it's going to affect the Italian, the oh, Spanish, yeah. and the German. Yeah. I think those three leagues are probably looking at this like, let's get out. Ramage is like, I need to leave. Oh, I don't know. They need to be like, hey, hey FIFA, you guys need to do something. They can't be spending 400 million, you know? Like yeah. 400 million deal, like usually a hundred million dollars is a, a crazy lot. contract, but 400 million plus the, all the crazy bonuses that you said, like yeah. no team can compete with that. So in a way it might hurt, you know, because they are those small teams that people mm -hmm. cheer for in, in, the, in the Premier League, in the Spanish that can never compete, you know, like what Neymar is getting is probably what they've wasted in 10 years, you know, spent on the team, you know, so uh, I, I think it's a good thing for these players. Like Rolandinho probably wishes this league existed, uh -huh. Kaká, you know, all these all ex-players players are probably like, dang, I wish this league existed. Because for some reason, like Saudi Arabia, MLS, like it just feels more like even, e even though like me, if I'm thinking about like my family, them, the MLS makes more sense because you're an outsider here. Like you yeah. saw those pictures of Messi going to the supermarket and he's messy. Yeah. Imagine other players are, aren't as big as him. Yeah. And also you have like the better weather or oh, they're in the desert, you yeah. know? So yeah, yeah, there's pros and cons. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a different league. But you're treated like a king. Yeah. You're treated like yeah. a king. Everywhere you go, come to my restaurant, eat whatever <laughs> you want, take pictures, you know. Here's my Bugatti. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. You know, like you're probably watching this and thinking just like us, like, man, you know, we chose the wrong career. <laughs> Even athletes, professional yeah. athletes, basketball players, football players, they're all looking <laughs> Have at you seen this. those photos where like, Min, uh, no Min, yeah, but Mbappe. Mbappe? Yeah. Cause Mbappe rejected a deal probably 1. close 2 to two billion. One point two billion. Way more than this. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, you never know if they're first opening up into football or soccer, they're probably eventually going to eventually basketball. You never know. Maybe. They just want to, they they're have already so doing money. golf, you know, in the yeah, U.S. Yeah, true, true. They were first making fun of them saying, no, we're not going to support that. Yeah. It took over. So who knows, man? These Saudi Arabia people, princes, queens, whatever they are, they're so rich, man. They got that black gold oil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like... If you're watching this and you're like, why are you guys talking about this? What does that have to do with personal finance? Start teaching your kid how to play soccer <laughs> and then send them to Saudi Arabia. They already do, man. That's your retirement. Yeah, that's don't more than money, retirement. Don't save money, no yeah. Roth IRAs. Like nothing's going to give a better return than teach your kid how to play yeah. soccer and send them over there. <laughs> that's your retirement. Generational wealth. <laughs> Child slavery. Because right yeah, there. like there's this video, this guy, I wish I had found it. This guy's like, hey, the Saudi Arabia League, third division, Pays ten thousand dollars a week, thirty thousand a month. When they're you're the best. Third player? division, oh, no, wow. like not big, no, like third division. So I wonder what's the what did they pay the, the first division where Ronaldo wow. Neymar are the players that are from Saudi Arabia or other countries that are not well known. A hundred thousand a month, you know, like probably a lot. Yeah, yeah, probably a lot. Probably like way more than. That's what I mean. Like you could be like like a nobody, just a regular just player, like good player, nobody. Yeah. You know, you play sometimes you score. Goals. I'm pretty sure you still have to be good because I see yeah. sometimes the highlights of Cristiano. Like some of those oh, they're defenders, good. they're pretty decent. You know, even though they don't compare it to the rest of the league, but they're pretty decent. They definitely have passion. Like oh. here in the MLS, one thing that I criticize, like they look like they're just playing for Joke. fun or almost they, they don't even try in my high opinion. school it's like high school yeah it's pretty sad yeah. so yeah that's the only thing i wish apple i don't know maybe apple's gonna buy the tv rights for this because that's the only thing we can't really see it yeah it's i only see highlights 
Oh, and when you were saying about like income, so yeah, so there's that. They mm. pay so even if you're not Ronaldo, you're you're getting paid well compared to the MLS. If you're not Messi, you're making sixty thousand a year, eighty thousand yeah. a year, hundred thousand a year. After soccer, what do you do? You got to go to a normal job. Yeah, I I played for the academy, and there was two ex players, and I forgot the names. They're probably well known. And I remember they told me I'm going back to school because now I'm thirty six and. I have no skills, you know, all I did was play soccer. So they were, instead of like, I, I thought they were going to be like, this is, I live my dream. This is the greatest thing ever. They're all like, it's pretty cool and all, but I would suggest you finish college and then, then think about playing the MLS. So yeah, cause it is true. You're 36 and you're just an average player. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. So, so before we finish this video, last thing, most important <laughs> thing, train your kid to play soccer. <laughs> Do not send them to the MLS. They're gonna live in, they're gonna be super broke. It's not worth it unless they're messy. <laughs> send them to Saudi Arabia. You're gonna get gifts of Rolexes, all right? That's that's what the fans are gonna bring you. Camels. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you go play Saudi Arabia, $400 million deal, or go play in the best league in the world, the Premier League, you know, 40 million a year. 10, 10x difference, you know? So let me know in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.